Hello students, welcome back to Deeksha Vedantu English for 9th and 10th. I am your chemistry master teacher Ankita. So we are going to discuss about ethanol and ethanoic acid under 15 minutes, just 15 minutes. Yes, this is a very important concept from the chapter carbon and its compounds. This is your fourth chapter in chemistry syllabus. Okay, grade 10 of course. So let's get started. Before that, please do subscribe to the channel Deeksha Vedantu English for more information more classes like this more videos like this and please do share the videos with your family as well as friends and help us to reach more and more audience and we have a telegram channel as well so the link will be in the description you can join our telegram channel for free notes assignments as well as daily updates and we'll be going live every day in the channel okay so let's get started ethanol when we hear about ethanol first First thing first, we need to understand, we need to learn about the properties of ethanol. Of course, these are physical properties. So, ethanol is a liquid at room temperature. Okay, it exists as liquid. And it is commonly called alcohol and it is an active ingredient of all alcoholic drinks. Like brandy, whiskey, take any alcoholic drink, it has ethanol. Okay, and in addition, because it is a good solvent, it is also used in medicines such as tincturidin, cough syrup and many tonics. So, this is the very reason why if we consume cough syrup, we feel quite dizzy and sleepy because it has ethanol in it. And ethanol is also soluble in water in all proportions. Consumption of small quantities of dilute ethanol causes drunkenness. So, intake of even a small quantity of ethanol, that is pure ethanol, absolute alcohol can be lethal. It can even lead, lead to death. Okay, please so, do not consume absolute alcohol. Consuming alcohol itself is bad, but absolute alcohol never. So, moving on to the chemical properties of ethanol. So, this is one of the most commonly asked questions. Okay. So, reaction with sodium. So, sodium is going to react with ethanol to form sodium ethanoate. Okay. So, see here CH3, CH2, O, Na plus and H2. So, alcohols react with sodium leading to the evolution of hydrogen gas with ethanol the other product is sodium ethoxide it is sodium ethoxide and reaction to give unsaturated hydrocarbon so heating ethanol in uh, at 443 kelvin with excess concentrated sulfuric acid leads to the or results in the dehydration of ethanol to give ethene so what is the role of uh, h2so4 then it acts as a dehydrating agent so here we have H2SO4 which acts as a dehydrating agent. H2SO4 acts as a dehydrating agent. Dehydrating means removal of water. Dehydrating agent. See here in the reaction. So, water is removed. A molecule of water is removed. Okay. So, this is nothing but ethene. This is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So, these reaction, reactions are very, very important. If I ask you to explain the properties of ethanol, you need to mention the reaction and balanced reaction. And I have always also made a video on balancing of chemical equations under 15 minutes. Go check that out. Because balancing is very, 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 very important. Okay. So, next oxidation so ethanol also under uh, undergo oxidation what is oxidation addition of oxygen is nothing but oxidation so ethanol uh, in so alkaline potassium permanganate per, permanganate is nothing but kmno4 potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate what is potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 k2cr2o7 these are excellent oxidizing agents so in presence of those this is going to undergo oxidation okay uh, to give what ethanoic acid so ethanol to ethanoic acid okay so this is oxidation reaction and we have combustion reaction we know combustion reactions lead to the formation of carbon dioxide heat and light energy the same thing is happening here carbon in its all allotropic form burns in oxygen to give carbon dioxide along with the release of heat and light so most carbon compounds also release a large amount of heat and light on burning these are oxidation reactions so these are oxidation reactions combustion reaction why so in fire triangle we need oxygen okay so co for combustion to happen oxygen is very very important so ethanol also undergoes uh, you know combustion reaction to form it is not ch2 but it is co2 carbon dioxide water heat and light energy okay combustion reaction this is quite common for all hydrocarbons 
okay hydrocarbons are uh, are gonna undergo uh, you know combustion reaction to form carbon dioxide heat and light energy moving on to the next concept properties of ethanoic acid so we have discussed the properties of ethanol now it's time for us to discuss about properties of ethanoic acid so ethanoic acid is commonly called acetic acid this is the common name and it belongs to a group of acids called carboxylic acids so what is the general formula of carboxylic acid r c o h r is any hydrocarbon and we make use of ethanoic acid in our day to day life as in kitchen so 5 to 8% solution of acetic acid in water is called vinegar this is nothing but vinegar so while making uh, you know rice items few of the rice uh, rice items in order to add uh, you know sourness we make use of vinegar and in making pickles it is used as a preservative okay and the melting point of pure ethanoic acid is 290 kelvin and hence it often freezes during winter in cool climates that is the very reason so it is called glacial acetic acid okay it is called glacial acetic acid and carboxylic acids are weak acids what are weak acids weak acids are those which are going to which are going to dissociate incompletely okay this is something that we have discussed in acids based in salts second chapter so moving on so esterification reaction is very very important super 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 important okay in almost all of your question paper they are going to ask this question they ask this question so esterification reaction is nothing but esters are most commonly found by reaction of an acid and an alcohol so we studied an alcohol that is ethanol and we studied an acid ethanoic acid so ethanoic acid reacts with absolute ethanol in presence of an acid catalyst to give an ester okay here also h2so4 is added it is acting as a dehydrating agency a molecule of water is released so ethanol is reacting with ethanoic acid to give what is this this is an ester okay this is an ester so ethyl ethanoate it's called ethyl ethanoate okay this is esterification reaction so this is one of the properties and reaction with the base so how this ethanoic acid is going to react with the base it is an acid so it reacts with the base which means that neutralization reaction is going to happen so we have studied what is neutralization reaction so acid and a base react with each other to give salt water and heat this is an exothermic reaction so like mineral acids ethanoic acids reacts with uh, a base such as sodium hydroxide to give a salt sodium ethanoate or commonly called sodium acetate and water NaOH reacts with CH3COOH to give CH3COONA plus H2O okay plus H2O so this reaction is also important moving on to with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates so in the second chapter we have discussed acids are going to react with metal carbonates or bicarbonates to give what carbon dioxide gas okay the same thing happens here ethanoic acid reacts with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates metal carbonates and hydrocarbonates okay to give rise to a salt carbon dioxide and water the salt produced is commonly called sodium acetate we have taken the example of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate the resulting products are similar okay yes so we have sodium acetate and carbon dioxide and water in both of the reaction moving on yes saponification process saponification is nothing but so preparation of soap how do we do that so esters are used in making perfumes and as flavoring agents so just now we saw esterification process right so esterification process uh, so yeah esters are used in making you know perfumes as well as flavoring agents because they are sweet smelling substances so on treating with sodium hydroxide which is an alkali the ester is converted back to alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid this sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid itself is soap this is soap okay so this reaction is called saponification because it is used in the preparation of soap so soaps are sodium or potassium salt of long chain carboxylic acid here is a reaction okay ch3 coo c2h5 so what is this ethyl ethanoate it is reacting with sodium hydroxide to give c2h5oh ch3coo na okay so this is nothing but sodium salt of carboxylic acid so sodium salt of ethanoic acid and we get an alcohol what is this ethanol 
okay so this is about the saponification reaction next what is the difference then how do we distinguish between ethanol and ethanoic acid very simple so ethanol does not react with metal carbonates while ethanoic reacts with metal carbonates to give carbon dioxide right so salt water and carbon dioxide are the products here in this reaction effervescence will be observed that is nothing but carbon dioxide effervescence is nothing but carbon dioxide so ethanol doesn't react with metal carbonates or bicarbonates mind you but ethanoic acid does and ethanol does not react with any moh okay but ethanoic acid being an acid is going to react with a base and undergoes neutralization reaction to produce respective salt water and heat energy Ethanol is oxidized to give ethanoic acid in presence of acidified KMnO4 while no reaction takes place with ethanoic acid in presence of acidified KMnO4. So, ethanol undergoes oxidation to form ethanoic acid but ethanoic acid is not going to undergo oxidation reaction in presence of potassium permanganate which is an oxidizing agent. Okay, these are the differences between ethanol and ethanoic acid. So, these uh, you know these properties or questions might be asked directly or in uh, as competency based questions okay so i have made a video on competency you know how to solve competency based questions go check that out because these are very very important all right so this is it please do subscribe to the channel diksha vidanto english for more videos like this and comment down if you have liked the video and give a thumbs up thank you so much so all the best and score well ace your exam